Hi, I'm Stu. Last year, I created a video showing you three different ways to create a drop shadow in Luma Fusion. I know a lot of you liked it, but believe it or not, there's a fourth way, and I forgot to do a video about it. So let's remedy that now. Okay, so you're going to need a video clip on the timeline, and then what we're going to do is go down to our plus button down here and do overlay title. Just double tap on the overlay title itself. I'll take you into the titles panel, and from there, you can delete this your text here, you don't really need it. Then all you need to do now is click on the little plus symbol in the square and tap on image. And you can either select from user images or bring an image in from your preset library. Just for argument's sake, I will show you how to do the importing. And that's to tap on this button here. And then if we go down to, let's see, this image here and add it in, you'll see it says tool time. Now the fourth way of creating a drop shadow in LumaFusion is to literally do a drop shadow. In other words, you use the distance, the blur edge, and the position. And you can also adjust the opacity as well. You can make it a stronger drop shadow, increase the distance some more, blur it out a little bit more. You get the idea. It's as simple as that. And if you want to, you can just switch over to another image, graphic, and they'll all contain the same drop shadow where you can move on to one of the images that LumaFusion have provided. And it's as simple as that. And that's the fourth way you create a drop shadow in LumaFusion. I'll link to the previous video tutorial. And if you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to give it a like, share, comment below, and I will catch you on the next one. See you later.